Once we extract the zip file, this is what you'll see on your PC. Just double click on epsxe.exe to launch the emulator. You should see this setup wizard pop up if you're launching the app for the first time. If you don't see the wizard, just follow my steps to bring it up. Select the recommended BIOS, then click the config button under the video tab. Click the nice button under default settings, this gives you the best default configuration. I just changed the desktop resolution and internal resolution to 4x, and set the stretching mode to 16 9. If you experience any lag while playing, try setting the internal resolution to 2x instead. Keep clicking next until you get to the controller settings. Click on controller 1, and choose your input device. I'm using an Xbox controller, which is natively supported by Windows, so I don't need to configure anything. It works perfectly with Xbox Genuine Controller. You can also choose keyboard or direct input if you're using those instead. Make sure to enable the overclock CPU option and set it to X1, just to keep things stable. You can change your BIOS here if you need to. By simply clicking on the BIOS file. I'm just showing you. I've already set mine, so I don't need to change anything. Alright, we're at the final step, once this is done, you're ready to play. Go to File Open Game List, then click the Folders button. You can either type the path here, or just click this button to browse for the folder. Select the folder where your games are stored to scan and load the list. Click OK, then hit the Refresh button if your game list is empty. Double-click a game to start playing. I used Eternal Wings, Bakusu Kudo Let's Go as the demo, it's one of my favorite childhood games. Hopefully, this brings back some memories for you too. That's the end of this tutorial. If this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a like, or share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more game setup tutorials and bug fix guides.